Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks with Hachiman. This is part two of Alex's T110E5 videos. Um, if you caught part one, I apologize it got truncated there at the end, cut off. Um, Alex had one more penetrating shot on Indian Panzer and the game ended. The enemy team ran out of time, but they also YOLO'd at the last second and got obliterated. Uh, Alex ended Let's that with an ace angle mastery badge. A high caliber and a confederate medal, so two battle heroes plus an ace tanker badge. Here, you've got Alex on Northwest in his T110E5, and he's going to earn another ace tanker mastery badge, but he's going to do it this time with a little help, uh, especially from, uh, from a light tank, of all things. Uh, he's moving into what is typically heavy alley on this map, and I'm going to speed up time a little bit just to get everybody into position. He's got an E-75 behind him helping out, and that's about it. Not a lot of support. Swings down on the low part of this road before he stops to peek down there. Checks the E-75, who's right behind him. Something I'm not a big fan of. When we're both heavy tanks, don't be right behind me, please. Enemy E-75 is spotted. He moves up. <laughs> E-75 bounces, and Alex puts a shot. It looked like in the Copa of his hotel. Then there's this guy who takes a hit from the E-75. Bounces Alex. Alex hit. returns fire for a penetrating shot into the lower plate. Airfinder, back up. Visibility increased. And Alex Critical puts another hit. one into the lower plate, but somehow... I think it went off and hit the track. The STI pens Alex, but Alex has him dead to rights as long as his gun hits. I'm telling you, the T110E4, E5, excuse me, has a really accurate gun. When it does miss, you kind of throw your hands up in the air, like, really? STI is trying to side scrape, but he's got way too much angle. Takes a big hit from Alex and the E75. And Alex is zooming in and blasts the Coppola of the E-75, low, enemy E-75, I should say, low damage roll. And Alex decides it's time to go get this STI and finish him. STI side scraping, them. does it right this time, and Alex's shot bounces off the spaced armor on the side. Alex is watching the E-75, he's got the Coppola for a third shot. And the E-75, oof, nasty hit into Alex's turret cheek, it looked like. Alex aiming at the car for the fourth hit. time. Now they got a T-110E4 backing up the STI. This is getting ugly. E-75 is almost dead. Now, pause this for a second. Alex does have an AMX-5120 right there, who's at less than half health. Facing an STI who's almost dead, an E-75 who's almost dead, and what looks to be an Object 704. I think I said T-110E4 earlier, and I meant 704, I apologize. Also, he's got a T-54 in his backfield and an M-41 Walker Bulldog further back there. This is an ugly situation. Alex... Trying to confirm the kill, instead changes to 704, puts one into the cheek of the 704. The 704 tries to blast the machine gun port and just takes out his observation port. Alex moves up, puts in a shot at point blank range on the STI. 704, it's gotta be loaded by now. Ugh, nails him hard. Alex return fire, and then that WZ-131 comes out of nowhere and starts to troll the 704. Nice Enemy job. Destroyed. Allows Alex to put a shot into the 704's lower plate for the kill. Now Alex is looking for that uh, medium tank. I think it was the T yeah, T62A. Bounces the upper plate. T62A does the same. T62 Enemy puts himself hit. in a real bad position trying to sneak by that wreck. And Alex plants a shot into him and tracks him. That WZ-131 is on his A. Alex puts one into the side. Look at that. Gun's got an average damage of 390, and he rolls for 327, leaving the guy with 16 hit points. 
Really? <clears throat> and the 131 saves Alex's rear end and gets the kill because that T62A was firing premium rounds and was going to reload before Alex would. And Alex thanks him right there. W the WZ states there is a heavy coming. Based on the map, it's a Lurva, which at even half health, half health, I would not fear a Lurva in a T110E5. But on 202, all the Lurva's got to do is fire two or three HG rounds, and that's it. Maybe even one premium shell. Alex is being very patient here as he watches. Very close game, 7-6. He's already done 40. There's the Lurva. <laughs> Nails the side as the Lurva tries to sneak by. Lurva is a very well-rated player. And then here comes T110E3. Yeah. No luck pinning that shot. <laughs> Look at that. The WZ-131 kills the T-110E3. Good for him. And Alex zooms way out to check what direction the Lurva's going. Lurva's going down. 131's coming in on the Lurva's rear. Oh, whoa, 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 wow! Track hit! Gets We've down, losing his tracks, but that's okay. T-5041, 131, annihilated the Lurva. But here comes an M41 Walker Bulldog. T5041's running away. He must be reloading. Penetration. Oh, nice shot there. As the Walker Bulldog comes around the corner. And he's not moving. He must be tracked. Alex comes in on the turret, gets the kill. Um, if you take anything from this, you know, if you're not, I mean, 5,065 damage, three kills. Alex earns a high caliber and a steel wall medal in this, as well as another Ace Tanker Mastery badge in the T110E5, but if you're not impressed by their performance, and I am, because like I said, I never made this tank work properly, um, what you need to take from this is how you can easily damage enemy tanks that are extremely well armored, very formidable tanks, if you simply know where to shoot. Alex virtually never auto aims on a target, he, and if you watch him as he aims, he's always zooming in at cobalas and hatches, machine gun ports on the tops of the tanks. He's always looking for that one spot that the shell's going to go in. Those details on these tanks are not there just because they're pretty. They're, they, they have hit boxes, and typically they have minimal armor. Speeding up time a little bit as Alex chases towards the enemy base cut off by the E50M, but he's being very cautious. He knows that there's a T-30 up there. Very dangerous TD. Kind of wimpy armor for Tier 9, but potentially wielding a 155mm gun with that with 750 alpha damage. There he is. He's behind the ridge. The E50M's going right at him. Takes a huge hit for 837, so yes, he has the 155. Alex says, eh, I think I'll cruise into the cap circle and just wait. Yeah, still waiting. Don't know how this is going to play out. E50M's doing his thing. E50M hits him again. Alex says, you know what, capping's no fun. Oh, there it goes. T-30 annihilates the E-50M with a second shot. That 155mm is like an 18 second reload time, something ridiculous like that. Alex plants him right through the upper plate and he starts backpedaling fast to get away from this T-30. T-30 should be going right at him, but... Oh, and this vehicle is had it. Kills our But that's okay, because the T-30 just got him slaughtered. Anyway, like I said, I hope you took something from this video in addition to the fact it was just a very cool video. Please like it below. It would really help the channel out. Comment. Subscribe for more. I, it would all mean a lot to me, guys, and we'll see you next time.